Hello guys and welcome back to where the TARDIS rewrite journey started for me. Over nine months ago we first saw the TARDIS rewrite textured and it's su changed such a long way since then and um, it, a recent update just shipped and it's had so many changes and right now I believe it's almost done. Like seriously, there's so much content inside of this little box and today we're going to find out everything about that and review it hopefully in a lot of detail. So as you can see it's a very nice model, yes. So we're firstly going to enter into the TARDIS and I will describe the frame rate and the the performance for this. So right now in Garry's mod without the TARDIS doors open it will run around about 160 frames per second since I have a lot of add-ons but if I open the door it drops around to about 30 because it is after all rendering essentially a, a mini map up in the sky and it does look really nice. Luckily when you close the doors it goes back to normal. So yeah, let's go ahead and enter in. Closing the doors behind us, noticing how it's changed in such a way that we can no longer see out through the doors. And this door looks quite mucky actually. But yeah, no, you can no longer see through the space above the map which is really nice. And I've also got the detail right here of where you can actually see Capaldi walking in and out in some of the episodes. Which I really like down here. We also have some Gallifreyan symbols which are resembled on the time rotors but we'll get to them later on. Yep. We also have a 3D model here of where the the um, the phone will be, which is really nice as well. I don't think they have that in the um, original which we'll probably go back to later on in this video. So starting from the bottom to work our way up, we have this little area down here where the Doctor I think keeps all his coats, maybe. It may be the heart of the TARDIS, so we'll probably see rows around somewhere. Looking around, the textures on here aren't completely done, I can see by the stretching of them. And um, I think in the real capacity there's a lot of wires, so I expect we'll be seeing them soon enough. So it's a very, it's a really good work in progress. The developer is fantastic at what he does. So no doubt it's going to be amazing when we see this underside developed further. So far everything does look really nice. You've got that grace, the grey theme still echoed around in this TARDIS. Moving on, on this lovely tour, we're going to go to the round things right here, which I've been told are rendered at extremely high quality. These textures are really, really well done. At least the round thing, because everyone loves the round things. And these are across the entire TARDIS, where the round things deserve to be. Um, they look, I think, a look quite a lot like eclipses, when the sun, you know what an eclipse is, but where the sun and the moon or the earth or something, but yes, they do look like they're glowing around which adds a lot of light and ambience to the TARDIS. Oh, I think we can see out of the map. So yeah, definitely don't know clip around this TARDIS. And now moving on to the clipping, much has changed from the original. We can now actually collide with the stair, the stairs and the handrails. That was just me jumping off of them. But you're very safe walking around, you're not going to fall through anything, which is really nice, so yeah, let's keep going on the journey. Right here we have a room with lots of, I think what they call it in Photoshop, noise. So perhaps it's a noisy room. But um, I, I shall clear up some things now. There will not be other rooms, simply because playing the TARDIS rewrite on multiplayer, which is extremely fun, it's going to be colliding with other TARDISes if we have extensive rooms, infinite rooms like the TARDIS. They'll overlap and we'll end up invading into someone else's private TARDIS. So far, I imagine these textures are going to get a few more bits and pieces worked on. Continuing up the stairs, we also have another one of these, another one of these doors leading off into the Abyss. Now, unfortunately, I'm playing on GM Big City, which has the noise from the map below, so you may hear that. But right now, I'm hearing the TARDIS hum, which was also added quite recently, and very, very loud, I think. But yeah, we can hear the hum. Now we're going to go ahead and go around, saving the best of last. Go around, around, have there, go around and have a look at these things, which are also round things. I'm not entirely sure what these are. It looks a bit like a carpet. And maybe saying, sorry Dave, I can't let you do that. But here we are. These round things are also around here, ironic, and another one of these door things, and also the grating, which I remember from the very first update, I think these the grating was here, and also some still shiny 
shiny handrails. It looks very much like a church, these arches around here. But here, one of... Oh, the Doctor's blackboard's been included now. Right there. I expect the word silence to... Silence or something to come up, maybe. Also have these really nice bookcases right here, which are quite really, really good resolution and quality of these books. I'm not entirely sure if these are included in just Gary's Mod assets, but they do look very nice. Especially very fitting. The Doctor does like to read, I think. So some more of these black bots, which I, th black bots, which I think I knew. I have not noticed them before. And obviously the grating, which looks incredibly high quality when you go up to it and gives your eyes a bit of a weird thing. And I best, best better go down to have a look at the console, which doesn't have any orange light coming up from here. Hmm. It also looks a bit grey when you're coming up the stairs, which is nice. Also, we have these sort of swimming pool drain-like things where steam would come up. I'm not sure if that will be included, but you could also add an emitter. Right, so let's go around and have a look at the console, starting with the seats. Which, um, on one of them, I believe, makes you fly it, but that may have been an older update and a bit more stable flying now. Nope, you can fly it all by the console, so we get onto that later. We also have these control panels right here, which are really, really nice. I do like the texture work on this. It's incredibly detailed. A lot of work has gone into it. But the Doctor has this thing about swimming pool drains. A bit odd. But yeah, these vents. So none of these panels are actually active right now. I don't believe they are, have any animations yet. So we've got that far. And um, yes. The, doc the TARDIS is humming. So now let's get onto the console and view every bit by bit. So let's get up and have a look at this. So I will probably overlay an image of what it looks like in the TV show just to make show just how really resemble this TARDIS is of it. So yeah, here's some of the, the Eastern Vortex here, which you can appreciate. And moving on to the monitor which I would like to talk about now. So I believe when you walk away from the monitor it also changes colour but it will display an image of space. Yeah, I'm going too far out now. Yeah, there you go. But there is a space effect that seems to come up occasionally. I'm not sure. That may have been removed. But it has a crosshair which will appear on your screen when you go across it. You can open the UI and click up the pop-up. Let's respawn that because I was spoiler alerting. So, so when you press open UI you can get on the pop-up and this will add a menu onto your user interface where you'll be able to close anything, um, control anything from the door which I can confirm does work but I cannot angle my camera right. Perhaps I could try now. Here we go. We'll do it on the screen just for excitement. Close the door. Open the door. Close the door. Oh, that was worth a screenshot. Yeah, look at that. That is cool. Let's go. I prefer using it on the pop-ups a bit quicker to navigate. You also have the option to change the interiors from the original, the the tenth, the tenth Doctor. No, the eleventh Doctor. Yes, and the McGann, which we'll review when it's further in development. Also able to find the float, the third person, all of which you can control. But right now I haven't investigated them further, but they they are in really good detail so far. Oh, um, good detail I've seen. And then you can mute the sounds if you want to. Um, I prefer having a close distance, and I'll show you why in a later later part of this video. Yep. There we go. Perhaps I'll turn the sound back on and explain why uh, why I chose a close distance um, uh, maybe I have to reset this okay so it seems I was unable to set it so that it automatically closes but essentially when you're further away the TARDIS will open its doors when you're closer so it's like you can just walk into it which is pretty nice you can also turn the portals off so that it just renders 
and you'll be saving frames. So moving on, we can go to the most animated part of the console, I think, apart from them. But you can basically open the levers. Oh, that made a sound. A clicky sound. And then select the dials so you can feel like the doctor. Okay, I am a Dalek, which is which is surprising. I shouldn't be the Dalek. When you first spawn the TARDIS, it will probably load everything in. Oh dear, we've gone on to the old one. Yeah. Obviously this is no <laughs> this is nowhere near as good as the other one. So we better change it back quick before I, I feel sick. There we are. And we can walk back into it. So yep, we have all these animations on the consoles which are really nice. Oh. I don't know what I did there. And this is one of my favourite parts of the console because I really do like the is this the texture? Because that would afford me, that was 3D. Um, <laughs> that that looks really nice. It's really bright and really cool. Reminds me of the, one of the Christmas episodes of Doctor Who, probably. Also, this one's really nice. This looks really sort of first Doctor-y with its lever, or with its butt, the keyboard, which is like from a really old computer. Yeah, so these models are really good. But when you get, they're obviously not designed to be no clipped in, so they're at a lower resolution, but from a distance, to say standing here, they look really nice. So the overall the textures are rendered quite well. And these monitors have also been changed around so that they don't overlay the parts where you can interact with the console so you don't accidentally click them. Also this one, where Clara puts her hand in, that one's really nice as well. <laughs> Um, you can tell I like this, and I'm taking lots of screenshots to to say I like this. Yeah, sort of. When are they adding an animation to be hands in? Right, here we are, the biggest part of the console, the flight. So um, this one turns flight mode on and off, and that finally will animate the time rotors. So I'll just pan around, taking screenshots. And you can enjoy that. The Gallifreyan symbols on top. That looks really does that looks really nice, doesn't it? Alright, and it's stuck in the console. And then you can turn flight mode off. Yeah, so if you press E on the console you'll go to the third person view, which I don't particularly find um not aggravating because sometimes you just wanna like, Yeah. It, it takes a bit of getting used to the controls, but overall it's pretty simple. It's just me who doesn't like pressing bits of the console and going outside and instantly into flight. I prefer just like looking out rather than just turning flight on. So please, please change that. Right, so if we go into this lever, which is pretty famous in my videos, and we click it, it will go into the Vortex flight mode. This part here will animate. Another picture, why not? and the time rotors start spinning again and also the middle section spins as well and we can look at that look how well animated this is smooth, making me feel a bit hit I'm gonna get hypnotized I like going into these parts and we can't open the doors because for some reason however you can get a vortex add-on which I did have and you can have a look at the time vortex which is really really cool um, uh, what was I doing? Oh yes, we're going to open the doors. open the doors in flight, so let's just land again. And then the sounds will play, and that's really, really nice. So overall we have covered pretty much a lot of this TARDIS so far. I'm going to go ahead now and turn the sounds off because they seem to be getting louder. 
idle sounds. There we go, that's a bit quieter now. There we go. So yeah, overall we have a very, very complete TARDIS. It is easily one of the most stable TARDIS add-ons and right now let's go have a look at how it's changed. Spawning in the same, well, a different version of the TARDIS and wait for it. I mean, look at the difference. It's come such a long way from this. I remember playing hours of this and now I'm able to happily fly. Oh, well it's not happily standing. Happily fly uh, this brand new TARDIS which has been such a success and has so much detail in. You should definitely go download it if you're a Doctor Who fan. Thank you very much for watching this review and goodbye. Guys, before you go, don't forget to check out my brand new Twitter page, which I've just relaunched. If you want to stay up to date with TARDIS videos, upcoming updates, or any other things, go ahead and follow me on Twitter now.